नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स दिस इज एन जे ये हो इस्टो ऑन दिस चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अवर डिस्कशन ऑन लेट मी गिव यू अ स्मॉल हिंट सो गाइज एज यू नो दैट आई ऑलवेज हैव अ बैक स्टोरी टू सपोर्ट फॉर द रैंडम टॉपिक्स विच आर पिक फॉर माई अपलोड्स सो इट्स संडे एट द टाइम वेन आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो मून इज ट्रांसिटिंग दी पूर्व शाधा नक्षत्र इन दी सेजिटेरियस साइन एंड ऑल्सो गाइज द लोकेशन ऑफ माई प्लेस इज दैट specifically during at this time if i get a time to record this video so in the evening time during this hour the sun rays i can see the setting sun and sun rays are straight away touching the um picture of the lord vishnu in the background so definitely the topic is going to be on the leo sign so guys like the way uh, in the past uh, few uploads where i talked about the role which scorpio plays in our life or the role which libra plays in our life in this video we will follow the same bandwagon and we will have our discussion on first we will try to understand the qualities and the attributes of the leo zodiac sign yes you got me right it's the time to get back to the basics after that what specific role um, is leo playing for your ascendant and third point because definitely all the uh, planets and the zodiac sign have got a affinity to one of the house in the natal chart which we also call as the uh, kal purush kundli so uh, in which way a uh, leo sign is going to be influencing or imparting its qualities to its original favorite house in your lagan chart this is your rising sign so okay guys let's uh, just start our discussion so uh, first of all the leo sign so guys a uh, leo is a sign which is a fiery uh, sign it is a fixed sign and over and above that it is being ruled by the planet sun so which in itself tells about that uh, this is a sign which or the ruler of this sign does not have got ownership over other zodiac sign like the way when we talk about mars which has got ownership over aries and scorpio mercury which has got ownership over gemini and virgo so mercury manifests its uh, frivolous side through gemini and its perfectionist intelligent side through virgo mars represents its uh, impulse through aries and its uh, resentful side or its intense uh, obsessive side through scorpio but when it comes down to the aura regality intelligence originality magnetism of sun it only has one sign to manifest those qualities so that in itself means that wheresoever leo sign is going to be falling in your chart or the leo is a energy which carries in itself potential for you to do something where you can have the world revolve around you where you might have something very original or unique talents because guys as you know that it's only the light generated by sun which all other planets reflect and they influences us so because of which when it comes down to the originality being unique being a pioneer so sun and leo plays a very important role and also guys uh, when we talk about like attainment of power with ease uh, when we talk about having strong leadership skills as well leo sign plays a very important role now definitely if leo is your moon sign your mind is going to be functioning like that if a uh, leo is your lagna your life could be like that if your uh, leo sign falls in your 10th house or your 10th house lord is placed in the leo this could be a professional undertakings as well but eventually what matters is that when it comes down to the innate qualities of leo you cannot undermine the potential which this sign carries within itself its potential and power to give you fame uh, make you very uh, a pioneer in any given field strong magnetism strong charm and strong leadership skills guys even if you will dig deep within the uh, leo sign you will find the energy of the nakshatra of ketu which is magha and i always say this thing that when it comes down to the people who are strongly under the influence of magha now it's not only that it's their potential it's their capabilities which makes or paves the path for the position power very easy for them but this is also because uh, magha is a nakshatra which is being ruled by the uh, planet ketu so this is a kind of perfection this is a kind of attainment which soul has been striving from past so many lifetimes as well so yes guys uh, these all are the qualities which can be attached with the leo sign now guys all what matters is that basis your lagna where so ever leo sign is going to be falling in somehow all these qualities of regality all these qualities of originality having some something very unique or being rewarded 
for your gifts, for your talents could be also attached or associated wherever Leo sign is going to be falling in your chart. So now that is what we will start our discussion with that basis all the lagnas, all the rising signs wherever Leo sign is going to be falling in, how it can make you unique in the areas of that house, how if you will make use of the gifts and talents connected with that house it can actually give you fame it can actually give you or um, provide you some royal favors some sort of recognition from the government as well so guys uh, starting first with the aries lagna natives so guys as you know that i always say this thing that the blessing which the aries lagna native has that they get this potential of experiencing the attributes of all the houses in their purest essence that in itself means that wheresoever planets are going to be placed in in whichever dignity they are going to be placed in they will experience those attributes those qualities in the purest and in strongest form so let's say for example for a aries lagna person if sun is very well placed so we can say this thing with confidence that all the attributes of the fifth house because for the aries lagna sun has got the rulership over the fifth house so sun if well placed it will manifest all these qualities of regality, recognition, your intelligence, good education, success in love, romantic affairs, mantra siddhi, all of those attributes in its purest form. And if for a uh, Aries Lagna natives, if sun is going to be afflicted, badly placed, um, conjunct with afflicted planets, enemy planets, then all these attributes will suffer very terribly. But now guys, to start with, what kind of role does um, Leo sign plays for the Aries Lagna? So one thing is for sure that because Leo sign falls in their fifth house. So when we talk about artistic creative talents, when we talk about, because for the uh, Aries Lagna, Leo falls in the fifth house, which chiefly tells about the way your mind function. So in whichever sphere they are in. And this is one kind of quality which has been majorly seen with the Aries Lagna natives that whether in the form of their education, they want people to acknowledge or recognize them for their talents, for their thought process, for their choices in the life. This could be in the matters of love, romantic affairs as well. Now, if a Aries Lagna native is saying this thing that, oh, I'm so humble, I, um, I can be with anyone who's going to be, uh, you know, showering her or his love to me in relationship. But at the end of the day, they want to be appreciated for their choices. And that is the one aspect which also act as a flaw for the Aries Lagna natives that a lot many times um, it has not been seen with any other Lagna but with Aries Lagna sometimes irrespective of not having that much talent not having that much potential or capabilities they strive for something for which they are not either prepared they are not ready or I'm sorry to say this thing you might not have that within you but still craving for that appreciation for that accolades for that recognition and rewards now definitely guys a lot is dependent on that in which dignity planets are placed but this is how their mind will function but the good part over here is that when it comes down to doing something very original doing something very unique and um, success in anything to do with the government relation government endeavors uh, aries lagna natives can do very good over there now guys when we talk about the uh, Taurus Lagna natives. So guys, uh, in your case, the energy of the Leo falls in your fourth house. That in itself means that the sunshine of the sun, the regality of the sun, the originality of the sun and the dynamism, magnetism of the sun or of the Leo energy somehow influences your fourth house. That is the only reason guys that I have met lot many Taurus Lagna natives who are in the business of interior decor, who are in the business of artificial jewelry, uh, real estate and also guys, <laughs> you will definitely see that uh, if a Taurus Lagna native is in a business of real estate or working as a realtor, they will definitely be dealing with high-end retail or very well embellished, well decorated houses, fine decor, fine uh, kind of, you know, all sort of um, best of the embellishments uh, in their offering so this is how you can see that when it comes down to the matters of the fourth house and also guys <coughs> because fourth house also tells about the public as well fourth house also tells about the royal favor as well and fourth house also tells about comforts and conveniences as well so this is one sort of area where they can stand apart or they can shine over there so whether you can make it as your professional choices or whether in terms of your 
definition of comfort or happiness you will definitely find some sort of unique taste very um, very uh, fine uh, refined expectations you will definitely find in the matters of their fourth house and definitely guys um, generally it has been seen that these people can be very proud of their roots of their home country and they actually want to bring happiness and success recognition limelight to their family name like if a taurus lagna native in lot many cases it has been seen that if a taurus lagna natives move to a foreign land that you have some sort of alignments in your chart which indicates success away from your birthplace so whatsoever they will uh, achieve in their uh, in the foreign land so the recognition and appreciation will still be celebrated in their home country as well that even in their native village in their uh, birth uh, country or their community people will still be giving their name as a example as an inspiration so that sort of achievement can be seen now guys just because i mentioned this thing that how the uh, the original house of leo will get influenced through this placement of leo sign for your lagna so as you can see guys over here that in your fifth house which is the original pakka ghar house of sun of leo over there you find the energies of the virgo so one thing which can be said over here is that definitely because uh, virgo energy influences your fifth house of your mind of your comprehension of art entertainment creativity so you could be perfectionist but you cannot undermine the importance of like uh, when we talk about how soothing your created art is how comforting your decisions are that is something which the taurus lagna natives have to learn now guys uh, moving ahead now for the gemini lagna natives so guys uh, beyond doubt in your case the leo energy somehow falls in your third house now in the case of the gemini lagna that is sort of a gifts which these people get because uh, gemini somehow is very strongly uh, connected and it has got very strong affinity with the attributes of the third house and just because sun is uh, kind of connected with this house because of the presence of the leo energy over there that is the only reason that when we talk about which zodiac sign people could be the greatest artist painters sculptors uh, musicians performing artist so they are definitely the gemini lagna like the thing is that this is the sort of a dormant potential which you have now definitely a lot is dependent on your actions on your fated uh, planetary alignments and the blessings of the gods but i still say that because of the leo energy falling in your third house so being unique doing something completely original in the lines of art entertainment creativity matters of communication or even through the support of the government starting something new initiating some new big projects so all that potential lies somehow with the gemini lagna because the leo energy the sign which represents originality magnetism charm falls in your third house also guys um, now just because we have to see how this uh, energy somehow influences the matters of the original house of leo of sun which is the fifth house so guys uh, in your case as you can see that in your fifth house you find the energy of the libra so what does it tell about because fifth house tells about your mind the way your um, the way you look at art so i would say that guys um, because of the libra energy falling over here somehow uh, you want to be a people pleaser like it is very rare that you will find uh, gemini lagna people to be rebelling or acting out they can be see they want to masquerade they want to uh, gel or blend they are very smart they are very uh, impressionable but moreover they want to make everyone happy and that is how their mind function that is how even in terms of art and creativity you will definitely find these people to be giving lot of emphasis to the embellishment to the beauty to the colors to the aesthetics now along with that guys um, you have to take into consideration somehow the attributes of leo which is falling in your third house so i would say that resourcefulness presentation marketing advertising no matter how good of the art you have created but how you can make use of your connections to sell it so all these are the attributes which you have to also take into consideration now guys uh, when we talk about the um, cancer lagna natives so guys uh, definitely in your case the leo energy somehow falls in your second house so uh, guys one thing is for sure that Uh, i will not be surprised i have seen lot many um, cancer lagna natives following the same pattern which uh, has been 
followed in their family like uh, a father was a lawyer or your grandfather was a lawyer so you also pursuing the same field so chances of that generally tend to remain very strong they are definitely very proud of their roots they are very proud of their tradition and father also plays a very important role in inculcating values uh, in their growing up years in their formative years so definitely guys uh, when we talk about in the matters of uh, finances or doing anything which is connected with the government generally benefits these people because when we talk about profession and all so everything comes down to uh, how planets are influencing your sixth house your tenth house your second house because definitely we have to work we have to demonstrate work ethics and we have to be getting paid as well for our work so because of which guys all these are the qualities and the originality you will definitely see manifesting in the matters of their second house now how you can correlate these energies with the original house of leo of the sun which is the fifth house so guys uh, in your case as you can see over here that in the fifth house you definitely find the energies of the scorpio so that in itself tells about that the way their mind function their mind could be very uh, obsessive uh, capacity and potential and tendencies to get hurt very easily and but guys over here as well because we cannot even be only looking at the flaw side or negative side of scorpio like the way you know this thing that scorpions could be um, very uh, loyal friend as well because at the end of the day they carry the energy of the planet mars and even when it comes down to ritual aspect ritual aspect of the religion or the mechanical side problem solving side they can excel over there as well and just because guys somehow the original energy of the leo of the fifth house has gone to your uh, second house so that also tells about that uh, definitely um, you know um, when being uh, hurt in any situation when getting disturbed psychologically mentally emotionally hurt or disturbed or in a very volatile stage uh, going back to your roots or going back to your tradition or being well connected like one thing which i want to advise to all the uh, cancer lagna native is that never cut off yourself socially from your near and dear people that is how you can uh, flourish that is how you can make use the best energy of the leo in your case uh, now guys um, then uh, moving ahead for the leo lagna natives in itself so definitely guys um, as i talked about the aries lagna same is the way in your case leo energy defines your complete life here we are not only talking about your moon here we are not talking about your sun your 10th house lord here we are talking about your persona your soul has taken birth and a physical form in the energy or in the caricature of the leo so definitely guys a leo energy manifests itself very purely in or through you that in itself tells about that leadership qualities come very handy very naturally to you or a capacity to be uh, known for something unique or doing something where you are the epicenter of all the attention all the attraction so all that potential and capacity somehow comes very handy very naturally or somehow very much inherent in the persona in the personality of the leo lagna natives that is the only reason guys that we have met so many people who are irrespective of the fact that coming from a very service class family they set up their business and they do very good over there reaching the position of power authority and nothing would be better than that because if uh, having your lagna as leo but over and above that if you have um, magha as the rising nakshatra and your ascendant lord is well placed so definitely chances of reaching or for the attainment of position and power this could be very conducive very favorable placement now guys how uh, you can make use of the energies of the original house of the leo which is the fifth house irrespective of the fact that leo energy and the solar energies are manifesting very purely in your case but still somehow leo has got an affinity with the fifth house which is its original house in the original kal purush kundli so definitely guys uh, as you can see over here that um, uh, in your case um uh, your uh, fifth house carries the energy of the sagittarius so that is the only reason that you will find these people the way their mind function why they become very good leader because they are very uh, inspirational uh, they follow the right ethics uh, right virtues right morals righteousness is very important for leo people and over and above that the way you can use this thing is that you have to be all the time very much accountable for all of your action because the kind of the way energy works or function in your case um 
I would say that uh, you know, uh, you while taking any important decision, you have to be uh, aware of this fact that at the end you will be held accountable for that. These all are the qualities because again, guys, I already mentioned this thing that um, it's the energy created by sun only which all other planets reflect sun is the epicenter of everything so that is getting applicable in your case as well that uh, at the end of the day eventually in every sphere aspect of the life onus of answerability will come back to you fingers will be pointed at you so while taking any important decision in any area of life be very much cautious be very much uh, consciously aware of that now guys for all the virgo lagna natives so guys, in your case, as you can see over here that the Leo energy falls in your 12th house. That in itself tells about that your fame, your recognition, your originality, your regality is somehow connected with the matters of the 12th house. So guys, uh, when we talk about 12th house, 12th house tells about all those things which are hidden from the public's eye. And just because solar energy or Leo energy has fallen in over there, so your ticket to glory or fame might be connected with the attributes of this house so definitely guys uh, that is the only reason that when we talk about anything to do with the foreign land anything to do with the spirituality and also guys um, bringing all those uh, darkest deepest secrets out in the public's attention is something which could be the forte of the virgo lagna natives so like the way guys a lot many times i have seen the charts of the sensationalized journalism like all those journalists who do very breaking news kind of work like you know something which was other people were hidden or in your tradition within your community it is considered as very taboo or very orthodox but you did something very original very unique in that forte now you might be working in any capacity you could be a lawyer you could be a journalist you could be a, a teacher like the way when we talk about even spiritual uh, uh, preachers like Osho who have negated all those rudimentary things even in the uh, lines of yoga meditation spirituality and religion so that sort of path breaking way or work could be somehow connected with your uh, path towards glory that is how we can connect the way the leo energy is going to be functioning in your case in the matters of the 12th house now just because guys as you know that 12th house also has to do with the secretive clandestine activities as well so you have to be very cautious you have to be very aware in those areas as well because working in order to cleanse those uh, dirt from the society could actually be responsible for your fame but by yourself getting entangled into secretive clandestine hedonistic activities might be responsible for your fall as well now we have to see that how this uh, energy of leo somehow influences the matters of the original house of leo which is the fifth house which tells about the way your mind function so guys over here as you can see that Virgo Lagna natives are very realistic, they are very practical and somehow when we look at their fifth house which tells about the way your mind function, you find the energy of the Capricorn falling over there. That is the only reason that their decisions are always very visionary, very far-sighted. Like a lot many times the way Virgo Lagna native function, the kind of thoughts which goes in their mind, they are always very far-sighted and somehow connected with you know how it is going to be impacting them in longer term and all so definitely guys along with that i would say that uh, they have to somehow in their thought process even when it comes down to art or anything to do with the speculation and all they have to or they have to learn to embrace the qualities of the 12th house as well which has everything to do with the that uh, all of your actions all of your decision making might reap you good returns but how how you can uh, elevate it to the next level and you can do something for the downtrodden for all those people who are not as privileged as you could be in the society so working and acting out with this mindset and also guys like uh, in whichever field you are in like trying to do something uh, which could help the unprivileged people and also which can actually be very path breaking as well which could be taboo breaking as well might be the right way of utilizing the energy of leo which falls in your 12th house now guys uh, when we talk about the libra lagna natives so guys uh, in your case uh, as you can understand now the whole um, uh, pattern of this discussion is that how the Leo energy is influencing individually customized to your Lagna. So if Leo represents uh, magnetism, Leo represents originality,
originality leo represents leadership qualities regality favors prominent people originality so in your case it falls in your 11th house so that is the only reason guys that uh, when we talk about leo uh, i'm sorry uh, libra lagna natives remaining lucky in um, like life keeps on connecting them with important prominent people like the way guys i always say this thing that uh, you pick up any field uh, politicians you talk about musicians you talk about actors trust me i have been to so many acting classes workshop casting director workshop and um, like um, because before moving to canada i was working in an ad agency where i worked on a political campaign of a national political party in india as well so you get to know that it's not like that if someone or let's say for example a upcoming actor his resume is uh, empty he has not got some good opportunities good work on his resume that does not make him incompatible or um, kind of you know uh, not uh, capable of good performance of lacking skill it just like that this person has not remained lucky in getting the right platform right set of launch pad and 11th house plays a very very important role like i would say that this is actually not only the house of wish fulfillment it is actually the house of success in today's modern day context right approach right behavior meeting right people being at the right place being seen by the right set of people getting the right set of opportunities right set of launch pad so in this regard i would say that uh, liberal lagna natives tend to remain very lucky because whatsoever original work they will do they will have buyer or they would have you know people to sell it to if they have working on some very good or unique idea they will have the right set of buyers to sell that or pitch that idea to so in this regard i would say that liberal lagna natives somehow remain very lucky they are very uh, social people they are uh, very uh, friendly likable and moreover the leo energy falling in their 11th house actually makes it very easy not only to blend in any large group setting but also become a center of attention in that large group setting as well now guys if you have to relate that if the leo energy has fallen in your 11th house but how does it influences or imparts its attributes to the original house of its own like leo has got affinity with the fifth house so how it influences uh, as per your lagna so guys definitely for you guys in the fifth house you find the energy of the aquarius if fifth house tells about the way our mind function so your mind could be very scientific this could be very philanthropic as well you might be a genius as well but one thing guys you have to understand that wherever you will find the aquarian energy falling in it somehow makes the person or attributes of that house very naive very innocent so i would say that it's good that your mind in your mind you care for everyone you want to be very humble you do not want to sound very pompous but over and above that somehow the 11th house leo energy is demanding you for that so no matter if you have a very good idea but how you advertise it how you sell it how you brand it so branding advertising or marketing or sometimes uh, there is a saying in hindi apne muh ya mithu banna so i do not know how to translate it in english so it's like sometimes you have to praise your own talents as well that is something which we get to know the way leo energy influences the matters of your fifth house now guys uh, moving ahead now when we talk about the um, scorpio lagna natives so guys uh, definitely in your case uh, the leo energy somehow falls in your 10th uh, house so this discussion is all about that when we talk about the uniqueness of the leo the regality of the leo magnetism of leo leadership qualities of leo a uh, limelight of a uh, leo how it influences the house where it falls as per your lagna so guys as per your lagna this energy falls in your 10th house so that is the only reason guys see uh, when we talk about in today's modern day context where there is a fierce competition everywhere so not only you are equipped you are made to handle any pressure any criticism any competition because it's your ascendant lord only which has got the rulership over your 6th house as well and that is the only reason it kind of um, a pave path or facilitate very easy path for you to rise to the position because guys in your case the leo energy falls in your 10th house so somehow uh, i will not be surprised that for the uh, scorpio lagna natives somehow 
they can do very good in all those positions or federal government jobs or where have they have to deal with the important prominent people or being in a government job in itself and like the way i mentioned this thing because leo somehow represents some sort of uh, unique talents you have like recognition limelight fame is chiefly connected with leo energy only so whether you are working for the government or not you might be a musician you might be uh, an actor you might be a social worker but capacity to remain lucky for the attainment of position recognition or getting fame for your good work tend to remain strongest in the case of the uh, scorpio lagna natives and guys the good part over here is that scorpio lagna natives are not as um, like as lucky and as privileged as um, leo lagna could be or as her aries lagna could be in their case their recognition comes uh, because of their story of struggle their story of hardship which becomes an inspiration for the world now guys uh, how does the uh, this leo energy falling in your 10th house influences its original house because somehow leo has got affinity with the 5th house so guys uh, for your lagna as you can see that um, in the 5th house which tells about the way your mind function over there you find the energy of the uh, pisces which in itself makes you very intuitive very mystical very deeply connected not only with children with art creativity with your education and very uh, deeply emotional as well the feeling of hurt is as strong as it could be for the cancer or this could be for the scorpio as well because at the end of the day all the water energy only uh, rotates in all of these uh, trine houses for the water signs so guys uh, one thing which you need to learn is that no matter how things are influencing you on a personal intimate level but it should not deviate you or you should not go astray uh, when it comes down to your professional undertaking because guys a lot many times i have seen like this might not be the story of scorpio lagna but uh, when you know get betrayed a lot many times people put down papers or they make it a matter of their pride they make it a matter of their ego and their decision making influences that so this should not be the case for you because somehow no matter how much hardship is coming in your mind should not go astray it should not get distracted from its ultimate uh, duties and responsibilities which you are supposed to perform in the life uh, now guys uh, when we talk about the sagittarius lagna natives so definitely guys um, for the sagittarius lagna natives the energy of the leo falls in your ninth house so as you know that if leo tells about the magnetism of limelight fame your original unique talents capacity to be rewarded accolades for your talents somehow falls in the areas of your ninth house which in itself tells about that because as you can see that sagittarius somehow is a sign which has got affinity with the ninth house which has everything to do with the ethics morals virtues being very devout and over and above that leo energy has fallen in your ninth house so guys without any doubt uh, these people can actually with their actions with their uh, life struggle with their life journey they can actually become inspiration for the society they can be very good teacher they can be very good guide they could be very good mentor as well and again guys what matters most is that it's your own uh, life journey which becomes an inspiration for people it's not like that you are among those people who not only believe in preaching but also you want to set your life as an example for other people to imitate uh, and also guys uh, when we talk about the way this leo energy somehow influences back its original house which uh, for any lagna it is the fifth house leo has got affinity over there so guys uh, as you can see over here that in your fifth house you find the energy of the aries so a fifth house tells about the way your mind function so at times you could be impulsive you might be very quick to jump to conclusions and you could be a protective very protective when it comes down to with your actions with your thoughts how it is going to be influencing your children how it is going to be influencing your public image and everything but over and above that guys i would say that sometimes you have to have a far sighted vision for your uh, thoughts which are governing in your mind in your mind like a lot many times what happen is that 90% of the times if you will um, you know if we have a device to look into the head of the people not everyone is kind of equipped in having a far sighted vision of the life 90% of the times our problems are connected with our daily life like we are overwhelmed with the daily life uh, challenges and daily life hurdles but with 
uh, in your case what is it telling about that having that faith and that degree and sense of optimism and far-sighted vision in your thought process is very much needed uh, now guys uh, when we talk about the uh, capricorn lagna natives so guys uh, in your case as you can see that the uh, leo energy somehow falls in your eighth house so this discussion is all about that if leo represents magnetism originality your uh, potential for the attainment of fame so um, in whichever house it is falling in how you could be unique or how you could attain all of those things so guys as you know that eighth house has everything to do with the very deeper insight in the matters of the life like the way guys i always say this thing that eighth house connected people they have a they are a different breed altogether they have a different way and approach of looking at things like for example if, if uh, a person who is strongly invested and planets are concentrated in the third house, fifth house, tenth house, eleventh house. These are those people who look at things on give and take terms. They are very much equipped with the um, with the social governing principles, laws, ethics. But when it comes down to eighth house, uh, these are very deep people who have a different way of looking at the world. Like you know, they look at the everything from the principles and scale of law of karma. I did something in the past life. That is the reason it is happening to me. This is how universe is responding to me. So the way they look at things or situation, there's a deeper um, psychological analysis, uh, deeper nuances of life and death and uh, soul uh, cycle vibration which are attached over there. So I would say guys that because your Leo energy is somehow falling in the uh, eighth house. Eighth house has everything to do with the research. It has everything to do with the exploration. And guys, because there is a biasness with the eighth house, like because a lot many of the prominent um, like prodigies and intelligent uh, exceptional people are born with the prominence of the 8th house but the sad part is that their true fame only came after their death so this is that kind of combination where you have to be unique in your uh, approach towards the life do not hesitate for something which is very taboo breaking which might be looked down in your society but it is good for the well-being of everyone so somehow your fame could be connected with the matters of the 8th house in this way again guys the biggest struggle for sun to manifest results or come out of um, the, the, the wheel of uh, like uh, darkness is in the matters of the uh, 12th house because 12th house is very dark. But when it comes down to the 8th house, still there is a potential. And the good part over here is that whatsoever happens from the 8th house, it happens very sudden, unexpected way. So yes, guys, uh, anything to do with research, exploration, life and death, or um, I would say that um, matters of a deeper inner psychological mental anguish might be your forte for success. This could be you're working as a surgeon, you are uh, working uh, as a, a therapist, you are working as a faith healer, but this is how your fame could be connected or doing something very original, very unique, which the world has not seen before. But the only small catch over here is that the true fame might come after when you will be gone from the world. Now guys, um, how um, the original Leo energy influences the matters of your fifth house where it has got very strong affinity or uh, which is its original house. So guys, uh, in your case, uh, as you can see over here that in the fifth house, you'll find the energy of the Taurus. Fifth house, which tells about the way our mind function. So because of the Taurus in energy over there, your mind could be very much, uh, you know, rigid with the ethics, with the morals, with the integrity. That is the only reason you will find lot many people in judiciary who become judge with the prominence of more than the Aquarius, uh, uh, Capricorn influence, Capricorn Lagna natives. So I would say that guys, um, being uh, not only being um, kind of concentrated in the in the rule book, in the tradition, in the ethics or whatever the rule says, I would say that sometimes having a broader vision, sometimes trying to find the a uh, solution or looking at things with an alternative reality might be a right approach or solution. So like the way we say this thing that, let's say for example, this could be in the form of in any uh, kind of, uh, you know, unfortunate event in the life, any of the delays, any of those uh, medical health issue. So only um, seeking out the medical or scientific uh, solution might not be a complete way of getting the solution if only you will take the mystical uh, spiritual or astrological guidance that could be a way for you to inculcate that in your thought process in your mindset as well 
uh, after that guys uh, when we talk about the um, Aquarius Lagna Natus, definitely guys, uh, in your case, as you can see that the uh, Leo energy falls in your seventh house. So as you know, in this discussion, what we are trying to do is that all the Leo qualities of uh, originality, of magnetism, fame, recognition, we are trying to attach with the attributes of the house where basis your Lagna Leo energy is falling in. So definitely guys, um, Aquarians can be very good in the public domain. And like the way I always say this thing that Aquarians are very naive. And but uh, in their case, specifically for the Aquarian Lagna, finding a right partner becomes very important. Like marriage actually, um, you know, is like a do or die or make or break kind of situation for them. Only if they find a right partner, it elevate their life. All of the life's problem gets solved only if they end up in uh, end up in a right marriage with a right partner. But yes, guys, uh, coming back over here for doing anything in the public domain, like uh, doing something very good, which the um, which is going to be serving the world, serving the masses, and your recognition, your public image. No matter in which sphere you are in, whether you are in service, whether you are in a job, whether you are in business, I would say that your public image will never leave you. So uh, the way public perceive you, the way world perceive you, so your public image somehow might be directly connected with your commercial gains, might be uh, connected with your promotion, with all the important events of your life. So yes, guys, and that is the only reason with the Aquarian uh, influence and Leo energy falling in the seventh house. It has been seen that a lot many successful politician genius scientist and all they somehow uh, remain lucky uh, because leo energy falls in their seventh house and public acceptance royal favors come very easy or handy to them like aquarians are like some of those who can be easily trusted like they actually want to make the world a better place now how the energy of leo somehow influences its original house which is the fifth house so guys uh, in your case um, as you can see that uh, fifth house which tells about your the way your mind function and over there you find the energy of the gemini so definitely that is the only reason uh, aquarians are very curious they are always they always want to acquire new skill they want to learn something new and they always they they want something to be uh, which is all the time stimulating them, like picking up a new hobby, new language, new skill. But guys, over and above that, I would say that the way they can learn with the Leo energy influencing their matters of seventh house, that uh, it is very easy for them that whatsoever talent or skill you have, you can actually turn it into a full time business as well. That is how the Leo energy falling in your seventh house is going to be influencing the original attributes of your fifth house as well. And I would say, guys, that um, that is one of the reason that um, even in the matters of partnership and all generally uh, Aquarians native tend to do very good and lastly guys uh, when we talk about the Pisces Lagna natives so definitely guys uh, in your case uh, as you can see that um, uh, in your case the Leo energy falls in your sixth house so as you know that what we are trying to do in this video we are trying to understand that Leo which represents your um, magnetism, leadership qualities, uh, elegance, uniqueness, originality, how it is going to be influencing the matters or attributes of the house where it is falling in bases your lagna. So it's today only when I did a reading for this girl and a uh, very nice person and she uh, is a social worker and you know working as a therapist and all. So you can definitely see that her chart is aligned with uh, the like her life is aligned with the kind of planetary alignments she has so that is the only reason guys when we talk about people who are into uh, NGOs uh, do a lot of charities they have a very serviceful mindset and that is only what eventually becomes responsible for their uh, recognition for awards uh, fame in the society and generally if you're doing very good later on the country where you are living in people get the political tickets or political seat or recognition so that is how you can see that serviceful mindset and approach somehow uh, helps uh, the Pisces Lagna natives to get their fame and get that magnetism that the world is revolving around you. People are surrounding you because of the uniqueness you have in order to help people, help the society and trying to make the world a better place. Now guys, uh, how the original uh, energy of uh, Leo, the energy of Leo influences its original house which is the fifth house. So definitely guys, uh, for your Lagna, uh, in the fifth house falls the energy of Cancer which in itself tells about because fifth house is about the way your mind 
mind function so i would say that guys uh, when it comes down to um, anything to do with the mantra siddhi with the bhakti of their ishta devta in the form of art creativity they could be very much invested in that and they the their mind is kind of very volatile very uh, empathetic towards the people around them as well but over and above that guys i would say that this is a typical alignment which tells about that you know feeling for the pain of other is one thing but actually extending a helping hand in order to elevate the problem of someone that is also become very important it's not like that you just felt for someone's pain agony and you did not do anything beyond that so that is the kind of learning or uh, like I would say good problem solving skills inculcating that in your mindset in your thought process is very much required same is the case in the form of art as well like your art might be very uh, kind of therapeutic for people it might be kind of very uh, soothing for people but is it actually solving some problem as well any sort of issue going on in the society as well those sort of qualities and mindset needs to be inculcated so yes guys this is something which i wanted to say as a part of my inputs for further more updates and notifications on the divine science of vedic astrology please subscribe to my youtube channel and like my facebook page dhanyawad <laughs>